Hi everyone! Today I am putting together an ice cream sundae bar as a surprise for my kids. The school year is soon coming to an end and therefore I am rewarding them for their good grades and hard work. I scream! You scream! We all scream for ice cream! Yay! I'm going to show you how you can put together an ice cream sundae bar 99 cents only store style. Everything that you see on the counter was purchased at my local 99 cents only store and everything was only 99 cents each except for the ice cream. Um, they don't sell tubs of ice cream at the 99 cents only store so I had to buy it at a regular grocery store but I did get them on sale at um, Food for Less and they were on sale two for five dollars. I'm going to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can set up an awesome ice cream bar. So let's first start with um, choosing an ice cream. I say keep it simple. Um, there's no need to get all fancy with the ice cream. You will want to choose um, some basic flavors like vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry so that your toppings can shine. So this morning I was going to buy vanilla and strawberry for my ice cream flavors, but they didn't have any strawberries for some reason. I guess maybe they were sold out. I went with vanilla and Neapolitan instead. For your toppings, you can choose to add fruits, nuts, candies, or cookies. The different variety of toppings will add some taste and textures to your sundaes. Let's start out with the fruit toppings. You can choose to use either fresh or frozen. Um, I was going to use all fresh fruits this morning, but the strawberries at the 99 cents only store um, weren't that fresh this morning, so I went and skipped it. I had chosen to buy um, frozen strawberries, and then I had also purchased some bananas and blueberries. For the nuts, I had purchased a bag of unsalted roasted peanuts, and they are whole, so I'm going to have to crush them. You can add other nuts as well, like uh, walnuts, almonds, pecans, but you're going to have to buy those at a regular grocery store. And for the cookies, I had chosen these because they are very similar to the Oreo cookies. And um, I'm going to have to crush these as well. For the candies, I had chosen um, chocolate M&M's, Butterfingers, Gummy Bears, and mini marshmallows. Now they don't sell like those big bags of um, M&M's so I had to buy these um, smaller packets and for the other candies like the Butterfingers, the Gummy Bears and the um, Mini Marshmallows I like that they come in smaller individual packets because I know I'm not going to use all this today so whatever is left over I'll just save it for our next ice cream party. For the sauces I am using um, the Briars strawberry topping and the Briars mixed berry topping as well as the Smucker's chocolate fudge topping. Um, now I had purchased this a while ago at 99 cents only store so I know that they no longer have it because I've been shopping lately and I haven't seen it. You have to buy it at a regular grocery store now. But they still have these and because I just purchased these a couple days ago to make like pancakes. If you haven't seen that video please do watch it. For the finishing touch for our ice cream sundaes, I have some whipped cream, maraschino cherries, and some candy sprinkles. Now I really wanted some of the bold color candy sprinkles, but they didn't have any at the 99 cents only store, so, so I went with the pastel colors. And if you're planning to have an ice cream party, you may want to put your container of ice cream in a bucket filled with ice and it'll help keep your ice cream colder longer. I had also purchased these plastic bowls and um, plastic spoons at the 99 cents only store. They are sold um, in a quantity of three for 99 cents. And this one you get four for 99 cents. I thought they would be perfect for placing our toppings in them and then also for our ice cream sundaes. I'm going to use the bigger bowls for our toppings and the smaller ones for our ice cream sundaes. First of all, I'm going to start crushing some things. Um, I need to crush the penis, the butterfingers, and the cookies. So I'm going to be placing them in a little plastic baggie. I have poured um, some of the roasted peanuts into a little plastic baggie here and I'm just going to take a can and start crushing. 
Crush, 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 crush. I love doing this. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> As you can now see, they are all crushed like that. And I only use about half of the peanuts in this bag, so there's plenty left for next time. We'll just save that. Now let's just pour this into one of the bowls here. Next is the Butterfingers, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to unwrap these and place them in a little plastic baggie. Okay, here they are. It's time to count on them. And I would probably just use like the edge of the can to crush them. Like that. Just kind of use the can to cut them first, like that way. And then go like once down the middle. Hold this way first, then once down the middle, and there we have it, some crushed Butterfingers. We now have our second topping done. Ta-da! Let's do our third, which will be our cookies. And we're going to do just the same exact thing, place them in some baggies and crush them. For the cookies, I'm going to use just about one third of them, and the rest I'll save for next time. Here they are. All right, let's start pounding on them. And again, I'm going to use the edge of the can to crush them like that, to break them like that. Yeah, because if you use the entire can, then it's just going to flatten them out. So I'll use the edge instead. And at an angle, just crush them. Like that. Okay, and here's what we have so far, but we're not done yet, so let's keep going. Next, I'm going to open up these little packets of gummy bears. Uh, I'm probably just going to open four, because we're going to have a lot of toppings. I know we're not going to use them all. I'll save the other packets for next time. And here is my bowl of gummy bears. Now I'm going to open up a couple packets of the mini marshmallows. And then I'm going to open up um, probably just five packets of the mini marshmallows. The rest I'm going to save. Okay, here are my marshmallows. And I ended up only opening four of the packets because it's kind of a lot. So uh, I placed one back into the big bag. So this is what we have so far. And next I'm going to open um, the packet of m I have opened both packets of M&Ms and this is how much that you get. I went ahead and poured my blueberries into this bowl and my frozen strawberries into this one. Um, I would prefer fresh, but like I said, um, I couldn't get any this time. So I went with the frozen. And then I have a banana here, but I'm going to leave it for last because I don't want it to brown. So if you're having a party, I wouldn't recommend using bananas because they'll turn brown on you. Now I'm going to pour my um, cherries into this bowl. I have placed my cherries in this bowl here and what I did was I strained uh, the juice out of this jar as you can see in this bowl so it makes it easier for me just to take the cherries out and I still have some left so I'll go ahead and pour the juice back in. I'm now going to pour the candy sprinkles into this bowl. I'm going to empty it <laughs> and that's it. We've got all our toppings done so now I can go ahead and slice the banana. Hey guys, so I am all done. Check it out. This is my um, setup for our ice cream bar tonight. Check out all the different toppings that you can put onto your ice cream sundae. Let the sundae making begin. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to grab myself a bowl here and um, a big scoop of ice cream and I'm going to go with vanilla. I'm actually using the bigger bowl for my ice cream, but um, if I wasn't doing the video, I would use a smaller one because this is actually a lot <laughs> for me. So, and don't forget to put your spoons um, into the toppings so that uh, it's easier to serve. So let's get started because my ice cream is going to melt soon. <laughs> let's see, what should I put on here? I can't decide. I think I'm going to go with some bananas. Let's add some right here. That's good enough. And then, oh, of course, m and I love m and Gotta have some on there. And some gummy bears. 
I love me some Yogi Bears. Come on, it's like stuck on the spoon. <laughs> All right, so let's put some on here. There we go. And then what? And maybe a few marshmallows. Some of that right on top. Okay, I think that's it for me. <laughs> um, until I put the whipped topping on, of course. And for the sauce, I'm going to go with this one here, the strawberry topping. And I'm just going to add some right on top. I'm not going to add a lot, just going to add maybe a little bit. Alright, that's fine with me. Now comes the whipped cream. You know what, I think I'm going to add a few peanut butter fingers. <laughs> there we go. I thought I was done, but I don't think I am. Okay, now comes the whipped cream. Oh boy. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and maybe some candy sprinkles on top of that. Ooh, and maybe even some peanuts. How about that? A little bit of peanuts. Now, a cherry. Ta-da! That here, folks, is my ice cream sundae. Yummy! And it's perfect for today because it's kind of warm. <laughs> it's warm and beautiful. So let's take this outside. Alright, so check this out. Doesn't this look like a perfect day to have this bowl of ice cream? <laughs> Let me take it out into the sun. Mmm, how about that? Look at the sky. Absolutely beautiful. Not even a cloud in the sky. Alright, time to take this back in before it melts. I can take it no longer. I gotta have myself a bite here. Let me grab this one here with the um, gummy bear. Oh, how about this one? With some whipped cream. Ooh, I see something else in there. An M&M. Okay, here it goes. Hmm. Yummy to my tummy. Mm mm mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Yum. How about this side? With some uh, butterfinger. Mm, the bananas, marshmallows, and a strawberry topping. Oh. Mmm. So good. I love it. Delicious. So children and adults of all ages love to make their own ice cream sundaes, right? I know I do. Now that I've eaten some of my toppings, I gotta replace it. <laughs> so more gummy bears. I almost grabbed it with my hands. I love the gummy bears with the ice cream. It's so good. And... Maybe some blueberries this time. Some more of the Butterfingers. It was so good. Yeah, so ice cream sundae bars are a big hit at any party. They are just fun for everyone. You can do this not just for a birthday party, but for like wedding receptions, office parties, family gatherings. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys like um, this idea. And be sure to check out all my other 99 cents only store videos. Have a great day guys and I'll see you later alligator. Bye!